Um, all right. So next up and second on our list, we previously covered how a UN air pollution law loophole wound up polluting our oceans. Remember, you can't pump it into the sky, but no rules against pumping it into the ocean. Well, the prime ministers of the island nations of Antigua and Barbuda um, appeared at legal hearings at the International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea in Germany, of all places, landlocked, um, to give... Did people show up with tridents? I was hoping so. With a name like that... Um, it, it seems a little dramatic. I mean, look, this is a dramatic thing. I mean, I'm, I'm very much for whatever they're, everyone's trying to do, but the... Uh, say that again? What was it the tribunal called? The... The International Tribunal for the Law of the Sea. I mean, the Law of the Sea. Yeah, I, I just yeah. feel like the the judge or the arbiter, whoever is in charge of the tribunal, has a long white beard and wears a seashell crown. Crown, a crown made of seashells. That's. It feels more. It would not be surprising if if that were televised and I saw a man with a long white beard holding a trident and a sea and a crown made of seashells. I wouldn't even bother. He doesn't have a gavel. He has one of those big seashells he kind of blows into. I a cock. Yes. If, if, if he had a cock and he blew it <laughs> to signal the beginning of the session and he blows it again to end the session, there is not a bone in my body that would have an element of surprise to it. I would actually just say that makes sense. In fact, I'm more surprised to just see normal people doing what normal people do with these kinds of serious matters, you know, someone actually arbitrating with plain clothes or what have you. Uh, look, if the English can wear, still wear wigs, okay, for their judicial proceedings, I don't think that this is completely out of the ordinary for a man to wear a seashell crown or a woman or, or, or non-binary, whatever, to wear a seashell crown and, uh, and, and arbitrate over the law of the sea um, tribunal. I'm going to call it that, by the way, now. The Law of the Sea Tribunal. Yeah, there you go. That, that's accurate enough. And you've painted a great picture. 